and welcome to my channel, Sew the Seam. I'm Carol, and today I thought we would talk about sewing t-shirts. Sewing t-shirts is probably one of the garments I love to sew the most. Every time I see a new t-shirt pattern, I have to grab it. And lately, I've been loving all the independent pattern designers. Uh, love Notions is one of my favorites. I just finished the t-shirt you see in back of, back of me. This is a Love Notions Classic Tee. I did this in the long sleeve version. I have a really soft cotton lycra knit. What I like about this particular pattern is you can use a heavier knit and it still comes out beautifully. I own a lot of cotton lycra knits. Um, so many cotton lycra knits. Because a lot of my stash is from before we started seeing all of the um, ITYs, um, the lighter weight knits, the really flowy knits. So when I find a slightly fitted pattern like this Love Notions Classic T is, I'm all excited because I can use my lycra cotton knits, or my cotton lycra knits, because I've got so, so many. This particular knit behind me, I believe I picked it up at Walmart years ago when they used to have their dollar a yard fabric. Does anyone remember that? They would have tables and tables of dollar a yard fabrics um, that came from uh, designer warehouses. I'm assuming so. They were good quality fabrics. Um, this particular one, it feels really, really soft, but I notice it does have a little bit of discoloration in it. I don't know if it's because of the age, because I have had it quite a while, or if it simply came off the bolt that way. Either way, it's really, really soft, and I'm looking forward to wearing it this winter. I initially sewed this t-shirt up for a, um, to use with my pajama bottoms, because I've made some cotton flannel pajama bottoms here recently. But the more I look at it, the more I realize I want to use it for everyday wear. It is that, that soft. And I guess I'll make another t-shirt to go with those pajama bottoms. But talking about sewing t-shirts, I used to be part of some Yahoo groups back in the day that were sewing groups. And I remember one of the prevalent things um, these sewists used to say was why spend your time sewing a t-shirt when you can go and buy one for under $10. And that's probably really true today, but I love to sew t-shirts because I can make the t-shirts fit to my measurements. I can use the fabrics that I want. I can put the details in that I want. And t-shirts, to sew a t-shirt will take you from cutting out to sewing it on a serger probably less than an hour. So I do think it's worth my time and it's something I enjoy sewing. And especially for my lifestyle at this point, uh, I wear a t-shirt nearly every day. The one I have on right now this is um, by Hey June, and it is called the Union Street Tee. And this t-shirt here, it comes in um, a crew neck, a scoop neck, a v-neck, and different sleeve lengths. I'll pop a picture of them. Thanks. Let me see what it looks like. But I've sewn this one multiple, multiple times, and it does need a little bit of a lighter weight fabric the cotton, I've done a cotton lacquer knit in it before and it just did not work out. But in a lighter weight, more flowy fabric, it's definitely one of my favorite patterns. And Love Notions has recently come out with a Henley t-shirt pattern. And I bought it and I have not put it together yet, but I'm really looking forward to putting that together and sewing that up. So I do think that t-shirts are definitely a staple in my wardrobe and I just can't have too many. Uh, is that the same with you? I think in our present time that we're living in, we need more comfy clothes and I think a t-shirt is definitely one of us, but it's definitely a staple in many of our wardrobes. Now I'm going to pop in a little bit of a clip of me sewing up this Love Notions t-shirt, the classic tee is what it's called, and I'll link the link for it in the description box below. Today, so today I am cutting out Love Notions
plastic tee because I made some pajama pants and I needed a top to go with them. So I'm going to make a long sleeve, just classic tee, out of this knit that I got from Walmart many, many years ago. So my stash, I need to get a new blade in my rotary cutter. My stash actually came, a lot of it came from Walmart. Um, it used to be that they would sell all this fabric for a dollar a yard. And a lot of it, not, not all of it, but a lot of it uh, was really good, high quality stuff. So that's where the majority of my fabric stash has come from. It's come from Walmart um, years ago, you know, before they downsized their fabric department. You know, their fabric department now isn't anything like what it used to be. Which is a good thing for me because I have more than enough fabric. I don't need to buy any more fabric. I do need to replace this rotary cutter blade though. Yeah, there's nothing worse than not cutting your fabric correctly. You know, if you're having a struggle with it, you know, the proper tools make all the difference. Okay, so I'm now I'm cutting all out the back. And I need to find a fresh blade. This blade is not cutting at all. But I'm making this t-shirt out of this knit. It, I know I only got it for a dollar, and it's really soft, and I think it's like a rib knit. It's, um, it's really not that heavy. Okay, so I've got it changed, and I did a test cut, and it works so much better. So much better. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out two sleeves. Make sure I've got these on the straight of grain which I'm not being super careful on this, only because it is a pajama top. And this, so I'm cutting out the sleeve. And on a sleeve, you have uh, your notches. A uh, single notch means it's the front of the sleeve. A double notch is the back of the sleeve. And I always cut out, I don't cut in. So I'm just going to cut out, outwards, and mark my notches. There's also a notch up here for the center point of your sleeve where it meets the shoulder. I'm also going to cut out on that. So when I'm cutting out my double notches, actually I'm going to make it a little bit wider than the single notch and just cut that sleeve out. So this fabric I've had for quite a long time, but oh goodness. Having a new blade makes a world of difference. It makes cutting out so much easier. And also, I got a new microphone, so I'm kind of tethered to the camera because it has a cord. So I'm just trying some new things out here. Okay. The thing I like about t-shirts is they're pretty fast to put together. You've got a front and back a sleeve and a neck binding and that's it. So on this particular t-shirt pattern you have a choice of a crew neck, a scoop neck, or v-neck. And since this is a trial run for me and also since it's just going to be a sleep t-shirt I'm just going to make the crew neck. I'm just going to cut this pattern piece out. So I've been really loving PDF patterns here recently. Uh, the fit has been fantastic. You can sign up for these companies, Facebook groups, and the support is fantastic. So if you have any questions on anything, you can ask you know, the, the group members and you have um, the administrators also to ask questions, which is great. Let me get a couple of pins and for pieces I always use pattern weights and I've had these Ulfa pattern weights forever. 
I've only got four of them, but I just transfer them onto each piece as I cut. It works really well that way. And these are little flathead flower pins. They're really thin and I've used them a lot. A lot of them are bent. That's okay. I'm just going to put these on here because I'm also going to use a ruler to make sure I get this cut as straight as possible if I can get this pinned in here. These pins are really old. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let me try this again. We'll pin this down here. Alright, I think I got it. Let me grab my ruler and my rotary cutter and we will cut out this neckband. So I placed it on the fold. Go ahead and cut here. And now. So, neckband's cut, sleeves are cut, front and back are cut. I think it's time. Sewing t-shirts worth your time? I know it's definitely worth mine. I do enjoy them. Um, I can't really think of any t-shirt patterns that I've sewn that are commercial. Um, I used to sew a lot of quick sew back before quick sew was sold to my calls. Uh, I still have a lot of my old quick sew patterns and maybe one day I'll go back to those. But for right now, I have to say I'm enjoying the independent pattern companies t-shirts the most. There are some others that I would like to try that I just haven't yet. And I will let, leave links to all of these in the description box below. But I'd love to know your thoughts on sewing t-shirts. Are they worth your time? Um, I think because the t-shirts do take under an hour to sew, if you have a serger, you're sewing a front and a back of the shoulder seams, you're putting in sleeves, and you're usually sewing sleeves in flat, not in the round, so that makes it a whole lot easier. You're doing a neckband, and you're hemming the sleeves and the hem, and using any embellishments you like. And the fabrics, my goodness, <clears throat> I would love to be able to buy fabrics right now, but trying to sew down my stash. That is my main objective, to sew down my stash. But that's a topic for another video. So please let me know what are your thoughts and on sewing t-shirts and what are your favorite patterns. If you have some favorite t-shirt patterns, please let me know. I'm always on the lookout for new t-shirt patterns. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this, vid this video and spending uh, part of your day with me. And please don't forget to give this a thumbs up which gives a like and helps my channel to get known so other sewists can discover it as well. Well, again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.